you today, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. Today I wanted to share some of my vintage finds with you. I recently hit an estate sale, a thrift store, and also an antique mall. I'm trying to cut back on how much I buy because I have a lot of inventory right now, but I picked up a few things that are at good prices, and as many of you know, I write about antiques, and so I will, if I find something at a good price, buy it if it relates to a project, a writing project that I have coming up. So let's jump right in. One of the first things that I found at the estate sale was this really sweet little flower frog. It's marked made in Italy on the bottom. I would say it's from about the 1950s. I have a blog post on flower frogs and a price guide. I paid $4 for this guy and I think he's worth about $15. I also picked up this little blue willow ornament, not because it's old, but because I'm going to be writing about blue willow soon. It was a dollar and um, I would sell it probably for $5, but I, I need to hang on to it for that project. Mortar and pestles sell really, really well. Often you see them made out of wood like this one or really heavy duty white kind of ironstone material. This was a dollar and I will sell it for 15 to 18 dollars. I picked up two ball jelly jars. The lids both say ball on them. These sell really well for me for four or five dollars. Just really nice sort of farmhouse looking. This beautiful transferware plate was a dollar. It is marked uh, Alhambra, Alhambra, England on the back. Can you see that? No maker's mark. Um, obviously made in England, Staffordshire. Transferware sells reasonably well. It used to sell really, really well. It will go for probably $10 to $12 picked up a nice rolling pin. I will reinvigorate it with some um, wood salve that I make. It was a dollar. It will sell for nine dollars. Planning on writing about celluloid soon and I found these two really cool pieces. This is a nail brush. I haven't seen one quite like that that opens and closes. It was $3. It's probably worth about five or six dollars, but as I said, I'm going to write about it. And this is a mirror with a stand. Would have worked like that. The mirror is not in good shape at all, but it was two dollars and I just thought that was really interesting. New to me piece of celluloid. At the antique shop, they had a free table out front and I picked up a jewelry presentation box, which if you follow me at all, you know I sell loads of these on Etsy. They sell really well. This one is velvet. It's got the name of the company inside. It held earrings and a necklace originally. It is, I will price it on Etsy probably $25 to $30. It is in really, really good condition except for this dent on the, on the bottom. For free, I picked up a little Christmas candle. And these coasters, which I am thinking about a, some sort of project for those. That was free. This is also from the antique shop. I got a lot of drawer handles, drawer pulls, and some hinges. I use all of these for different projects. You can use the handles on frames to make trays. 
They make great sort of decorations on farmhouse style signs. Little trim or embellishment. Picked up this cookbook. I have several blog posts about cookbooks and a price guide. I don't buy a lot of these with this um, you know, this plastic binding that organizations would have made for sale, you know, as a fundraiser. But this one is uh, of Magnolia and Mesquite, so it's a southern theme. It's very thick, and it was 50 cents or a dollar, I can't remember. I would sell it probably for about $8. I also, at the antique shop, found a couple of trade cards. This one is for sewing machines. Isn't that sweet? That was a dollar. And this, these two are for thread. I have several sewing related blog posts and I thought these would be cute to add on there. They sell, I paid a dollar. I could probably sell them for $2, but I really bought them um, to use. There you go. And some really neat old photographs. I just look at that little guy with a finger in his mouth. I like to scan these and save them and use them for projects. Look at those two little ones. I love that they're holding hands. And then this last one of bathing suits, bathing beauties. They were a dollar each, and I will use them for a project. I'm always on the lookout for boxes for shipping. So at the thrift store, these five, they fit, they tuck nicely inside each other. They were 69 cents, and these are just fantastic for shipping uh, eBay and Etsy orders. I picked up a set of Christmas lights. This particular thrift store has a lot of smallish type things like this for 69 cents. So these are 69 cents. I use them in my booth at Christmas time. I picked up this case at the same thrift store. I want to use it to store the, everything I need for a certain project. So I can just pick this up and work um, on a project. It was $3.00. And I bought a number of those 69 cent items like these little deer and some bottle brush trees and an ornament. I, I liked that as a possible idea for a project, a future project. Um, they gave me these little copper jelly molds for free, which was really nice. I think these would be cute as little candles. That's my idea for them. And then I picked up this ornament because I, I liked it, it for a few future idea for a project. So we're almost to the end. I did pretty good. I held back. The last thing I got at that thrift store is this bow maker. I've always wanted one of these. I, I do enjoy making bows. There's the process right there. Uh, but anything to make my processes easier. I make a lot of wreaths at Christmas time, so this will really come in handy for making some big, beautiful bows. It was 99 cents. So if I don't like it or I don't use it, I don't feel bad uh, about passing it on to someone else who might enjoy it more. So that's it for my vintage finds. I hope you enjoyed seeing them and as always, happy hunting.